My name is uh, Stefano Barchiesi, and I'm with the IUCN Global Water Program. And uh, what does IUCN stand for? I'm sorry, IUCN stands for International Union for Conservation of Nature. Okay, great. And um, so you've been here. You've organized a session today, and uh, interestingly, it was a combination of people who are interested in, I guess, ecological flows. You know the environment and people who are interested in in the environment and but the human systems the human health side let's say so uh there were some discussions which you were telling me about what was it that people were saying about resilience and the term resilience i thought that was quite interesting sure you know you're right at, at the beginning and we were some of the first ones to to kick off this uh salt and water week uh we weren't even sure about turnout but and uh, we had a full room and uh, the second thing we were not so sure about was how to integrate the discussions between uh, those interested in uh, human health and those interested in the ecosystems health and then uh, at the end of the day we we, we realized that uh, and this is uh, back to your question on resilience that we, we, we simply cannot uh, take the two systems separately it's the society and there's a uh, and there's nature, and they, there's always uh, linkages happening all the time, and whatever in, you influence on uh, one side of the coin, there's uh, um, consequences on, uh, on the other side. And uh, what is we need to achieve is resilience, but it's, it's not so much that we want to go back to some state where uh, we thought things were, were good enough uh, and uh, uh, ecosystems were healthy and people uh, were benefiting from healthy ecosystems for their... Uh, but so, so resilience, resilience to what? I mean, what are we, what are we looking at? I mean, resilience, it's yeah, resilience is normally understood as resilience to uh, climate change impacts, but I in reality it's resilience to uh, any change that can impact and bring shocks to uh, your system where uh, w w which we can take as a uh, human well-being. In, in development work I mean we've used a lot the word adaptation you know I mean at one point it was almost a response to climate change you know because everybody was talking about climate change and then we were saying well actually it's just adaptation or you know and, it, and that's become sort of the main one of the main words I mean it, it, did that come up in the conversation do people do and, and does IUCN working more on the environmental side, do you, do you use the word adaptation or? Absolutely, well actually it didn't come up so often because we were not sort of, the, the participants were well acquainted because uh, one of the topics was climate change and actually as you say resilience and adaptation there, it's basically uh, two words that are very much interconnected uh, because uh, to, to adapt you need to be resilient but the conclusion we we came to was that uh, it's not actually you, uh, uh, it's precisely it's not resilience but it's the transformation that you're looking for because uh, and that's how you really adapt because you need to manage things including ecosystems and uh, how you manage water uh, for ecosystems and society and that's what you have to uh, do differently and that would be uh, being more uh, adaptive to climate change, being more resilient, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and that's where the transformation is that, that we're after. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.